orbiting the Earth. Let's jump right in. We got about two inches of snow last night, so I wanted to make a video comparing the blowing distance of my 1980s Honda HS55 with my newer Honda 724 from the year 2000. And also talk about some things that affect the blowing distance. Looking at other people's videos and using my own common sense, these are the things that I think affect the blowing distance on a snowblower. The first thing is your auger belt tension. If this belt slips, you won't get enough power to your auger and won't throw the snow very far. Uh, check your spring, your tension, and feel if the pulley's hot, the belt's hot, it's probably slipping. The second point is your engine speed. If your engine bogs down, slows down under load, it won't throw the snow very far. Things that affect your engine speed are carburation, make sure you're getting plenty of fuel, or too much drag on the auger, the bearings, that kind of thing. Next, check for broken shear pins. If the shear pin's broken, the engine won't deliver full power to the auger and the second stage blower. Next, you want your chute surface smooth so the snow glances off. If it's not smooth, the snow can stick to it, which slows down blowing by snow. So every year, sand the surface, prime it, paint it, polish it with car polish or oil, silicon lube, something like that. The clearance between the second stage blower to the housing can affect the blowing performance. If there's too much clearance, snow can build up, ice slush, and then you no longer have a smooth, free surface. This could bog down your engine, slow your speed, wrecking performance. There's a modification you can do to this to take up clearance by cutting heavy rubber mud flaps and screwing them to each paddle so they rub the outer surface and there's no clearance. This helps a lot in the wet snowy conditions. Lastly, the snow condition and the feed rate can affect how well it blows. If you feed the snow too slow, it doesn't have enough to blow very far. Also, if it's wet, slushy snow, it tends to stick in the auger and also won't blow very far and tends to also clog it. So here's the 1980s Honda HS55 that I got on an auction. Uh, serial number 1106014. Uh, the engine ran great. The only thing I had to do was replace the auger belt and the wheels. It had some ridiculous wheelbarrow wheels that were too tall and mounted too wide on the axle. So I found a pair of nice wheels that you see in this photo for $8 on an online auction. Another thing I did was sand the chute, painted it, and then use some turtle wax car polish. The reason I polished the chute up is because I tried it the other night in some wet snow and it only threw three, four, maybe five feet. So I was kind of concerned about this. And this concern stems from this Poulon Pro that I used to own. I bought from a coworker and it just did not throw very far for him and the same for me. So I tried the blower mud flap modification and even replaced the five horse Tecumseh with a five and a half horse Honda. And I just could not get this thing to blow very far. I ended up selling it, making sure to tell the owners the situation. So let's start with the old HS55. At this point I've been snow blowing for 20 minutes so it's all warmed up. Uh, this is how much snow is stuck to it by now. So I'll make a trip up and down the driveway just let you watch at the low distance. Now the wind's pretty strong here so it's kind of diminishing the trail of the blowing path. So you have to approximate how far you think it's going.
Here's what the shoot and auger look like after the blowing. Now let's shut this down and go over to the Honda 724 that's been warming up for a while. I'll give you a close up of the auger area so you can see the rust on the bottom. And the chute's not too smooth either. It needs to be maintained a little bit. But this is the condition for the test. section of the driveway I'm showing you is gravel so the HS55 was set a little higher and drove a little smoother as a result the 724 is set a little lower so it catches quite a bit and ends up zigzagging and you gotta control a little bit better I might adjust that for the next time the chute controls are right up by the handlebars on this model so you end up adjusting it quite a bit based on wind low back going up against the neighbor's house. Show them side by side. 55, 724, 55, 724, 55, 724. And when you're all done snow blowing the driveway, make sure you apply the proper polishing technique like this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.